Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today in this video I'm going to show you how you can apply for studying in the Islamic University of Imam Malik ibn Sa'ud. Basically there are two ways how you can apply for studying in this university. The first one is the easy one. You can order service the service from us for as much as $80 we tr translate all the required documents and we do all the job for you. We submit the documents and then we send you an email where we give you instructions on what to do. And the second way is a bit more complicated. You just translate all the required documents yourself and submit the documents again yourself. So whatever way you choose, like if you choose the first one, you just go and visit our website, which is not just madin.com. And you go to the section contacts and just contact us and we'll be glad to assist you. If you choose the second way, like you want to do it yourself, that's not a problem because there is a number of reasons why people do that. For example, some people cannot afford this service. So for those of you who choose the second way, I'm making this video. I'm going to show you step by step how you can apply for studying in this university. And this university is a beautiful university. We compile some information about this university. You can again visit our website, universities, Islamic University of Imam Muhammad ibn Saud. And it says that it's one of the top five best universities in the country. And it has some additional information. Again, if you want to know more about this university, just visit our website. And what is really beautiful about the Islamic education in this university that it's all uh, based on the manhaj as salaf as salih like aqidah and manhaj everything is based on the on the way of the pious predecessors so that's the the the, the most beautiful thing about this university and this university also has uh, non-islamic university you know, faculties uh, which are called the scientific faculties so if you want to have uh, the islamic education that's the best, one of the best places to go. But if you want to study something scientific, again, that's univer the university that accepts uh, foreigners, even for studying in the scientific faculties. And let's get started with the uh, submission process, with the application process. Uh, if you want to apply your documents, first of all, you need uh, to know where to go. Here is the link. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that there are requirements that this, universe, this university put into place. Uh, there are more of them, but it all boils down to two conditions. You have to be uh, at this age. You, you cannot be older than 25 years old, and you cannot be younger than 17 years old. And also, you're supposed to have the high school certificate or at the very least, at the very least, you are supposed to study in the last year of the high school. In this case, you can apply. If you are older than, than this age, if you, are, if you don't have the high school certificate, then you cannot apply. So yeah, that's how it works. Uh, we take this link and uh, use it on our web browser. Okay, let's go. And here you are on the page where we are supposed to apply. And by the way, I took this link from the Twitter page of the university, Aymadad al-Qabul wa it means the Deanship of Admission and Registration. This page belongs to the University of Imam, and I took this link from, from that page. So here we are. It says that uh, the Deanship of Admission and Registration accepts the applications from the 27th of September to the 11th of October. Today is the 10th of October and I wanted to record this video earlier but just I didn't have time. So on the last day I've decided to to finally record this video. I hope that it will benefit at least in the in the next year. It will benefit you in the next year if you're watching this video. Uh, but today is the last day when they accept the applications. Probably they're going to accept for a few more days. It's not like it's the 11th of October and they just close it immediately. Sometimes they uh, might give you some extra days. So that's the period of time when, where, when you're supposed to submit your documents. And there immediately we start with the submission process. 
And before recording this video, I, I've already filled out all the sections. There are uh, six sections. So I did, it, I did it all before recording this video to save the time. And I'm going to show you step, step by step what you're supposed to do to submit your documents to apply for studying in this university. So the first one, the first one uh, is asking you uh, which means like the type of scholarship. And if you're a foreigner, and of course you're a foreigner, you choose Minhatun Khorijiya. Minhatun Dakhiliya is for Saudi citizens. So you are a foreigner, you choose Minhatun Khorijiya and you say Attali, which means next. Then they are asking you your first name, your name, Bilughatil Arabiya in Arabic. And as, I, as I've told you, I've already filled out this form. My name is Madi. And then I do the same in English, Madi. Then they are asking the name of my father, Bilughatil Arabiya in Arabic. And I just made up this name, uh, Abdullah. And you do this, you, you uh, write the same, but in English, in the next, in the next section. And then Ismul Aila. It's the last name. My last name is Mansurov, and I wrote down Mansurov, and the same in this section, but in English. So you're supposed to fill out this form in two languages, in Arabic and in English. Then they're asking you. Al-Baridul Elektroni, which means the email, not just Medina.com, uh, edgemail.com. And I advise you to use edgemail.com. And then we have al jins Becker, which means mail. Then they are asking us for Rokmul Jawas, it means the passport number. Uh, and again, I made up this number. Al-Umru, they're asking for our age, al umr and we just choose the year where, where when we were born and as i told you there is a requirement that you are supposed you, you cannot be older than 25 years old and as you can see you, you cannot choose uh, older than 25 years old today is 2022 therefore if you are 24 you were born in 1998 so let's just uh, choose some age it doesn't matter because I'm making this up. So uh, let's say if I was born in 2001, uh, it means that now I'm 21 years old and therefore I fulfill this requirement. And sometimes people, they ask us like, uh, could you uh, submit our documents? And they are older than 25 years old. They say like, maybe the university may, will make uh, the exception for me. But no, they're not going to do that because the portal doesn't let you uh, submit your documents if you're older th than 25 years old. Then they're asking you for your religion at Diana. You say Muslim or Khairu Muslim. But I, I, I think that if you want to study in the Islamic University of Imam, even if you study the scientific fac in, the in the scientific faculty, you're a Muslim, I guess. I just cannot imagine that, for example, a Christian guy w would go to Saudi Arabia for, for studying. And then you choose al halatul ijtima'iyya, which means, uh, and then you are choosing al halatul ijtima'iyya. Uh, they're asking you whether you are married or not. If you're not married, you say a'zab. If you are married, you say mutazawj. I will leave it as a'zab. al jinsiyatul asl, like the, your first citizenship. Uh, well, if you had a citizenship and then you changed it, you're supposed to indicate your first citizenship here. In my case, it's Kazakhstan. I'm from Kazakhstan. And al jinsil al haliya it means like the current citizenship. And in my case, in my case again, it's Kazakhstan. Even though part of my family they moved to Canada, and uh, during the summer holidays I'm flying to Canada and stay in Canada, but Officially, I'm a citizen of Kazakhstan, and therefore, I leave it as a Kazakhstan. Then they're asking me for my city. Well, I say Astana. It's the capital of Kazakhstan.
north, uh, east, west, and south. And then they're asking you for your uh, health state. You just choose Salim, which means that healthy. Yeah, because if you choose like Assam, it means that you cannot hear. And therefore, of course, you won't be accepted. If you don't hear, how are you going to study there, right? Then they are asking you to provide the information about when you graduated from the high school, Sanatu Takharruj. And again, I just made it up. I said that I graduated, let's say that I graduated in the 2021. And then I choose June, 7th day of June. Then they're asking your GPA, Mu'addal Thanawiya. And again, I made it up, 4.5 from 5. At the khususul mutah, like where you want to study in the university, you cannot choose anything else. You just choose this one, Mahadu Ta'lim al Arabiya, like the Institution of Arabic Language, the Institute of Arabic Language. That's the only choice. You just choose it and go further. At Tali. Then they're asking you Al Murafaqat or Al Murafaqat. It's the attachments. Uh, it starts with the photo of your passport. And here I prepared everything beforehand, passport. And pay attention that you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, download uh, these documents in any other format but in PDF. PDF is the only option. And it cannot exceed 2 megabytes. So yeah, passport. Then they're asking you Shahada to Thanawi, it means the high school certificate. I prepared it. So here we go. Al Kashfut Tibbi, the medical report. Uh, the medical report, they don't have a certain standard for this medical report. You can just go to your GP doctor and just ask him to write a medical report that you're healthy to study abroad, and that will be enough. So, GP, medical report. And istimaratun, uh, which means, uh, well, this is a document where you provide certain information about yourself. Uh, where you take it, you take it from this, from this page. Okay, I just uh, opened it, and here we go. Here we go. That's the istimara. You're supposed to download it and fill it out. Fill it out on the computer. You don't have to print it out. Just fill it out and yeah, that's it. You can just go up and download it in the in the Word. You see, I've just downloaded it. And then you just fill it out and let me show you how it's done. I've already done it. So here I've prepared the istimara. I filled it out. Let's just take a look how it looks. Here we here we have the place for the photo. You know, it's empty. And then you just put your photo here, in this place, in this area. Here I am. That's the photo of me. Six years ago, uh, at that time, I didn't have any beard. It's cause, of course, it's better if you uh, make a photo that is like a recent one, not like me, six years ago. So you put your photo here and then you fill out the form. They're asking you for your name and last name. In my case, it's Madi Mansurov. And again, it's supposed to be in Arabic here and in English here. That's what you do. Then they're asking you to provide Rakhm al It's the identification number. In, in different countries, they, you have different documents where this number can be found but it's the identific identification number of a citizen and i made it up i made it up it's not my identification number my identification number is uh, it's not a social security social number don't put it here uh, it's a, another thing just google what is the identification number in your country and put it here then they're asking you for the passport number put it here and then they're asking you, you uh, for the uh, day when you were born, 
I made it up. I said like I was born in 1998, the 28th of February. Then they're asking you when is your identification identity card is gonna expire. If you have the identity card, you're supposed to specify when it's gonna be expired. Then they're asking you when is your passport gonna be expired. And again, I just made it up. Uh, then they're asking you for your agency, your citizenship. You right here, for example, if you're from the United States or from Canada, let's say you're from Canada, you just do it. You just write it Canada. Al Mu'ahidul Almi. Here you specify your educational background, which is probably the high school certificate. So you just say Shahadatun Thanawiya. At the khusus, you say that it's al -am. Then we have makan al amal like the place of your uh, of your work. Well, probably you don't work because you just graduated from high school, or maybe you're still studying. And then you just say here talib, which means student. That's what you're supposed to write here. Then they're asking you for your Saudi bayanat, like uh, where you what what is your Saudi phone number? What's your a city where you live in Saudi Arabia, but you are a foreigner, you just leave it as it is. And since you are you are a foreigner, you fill it out here. Like your phone number in your country. And again, I made it up. You specified here. Al Medina where you live, like the city where you live. I uh, fill it out with, uh, with some information that I made up. No, I did make, make it up. Actually, I travel when I travel to Canada I live in Edmonton al it means like the area the province so I live in the city of Edmonton in the process in the province of Alberta and then they're asking for the place where you live exactly like uh, the street that 105th Avenue uh, the the house number 999 that's what I wrote yeah, that's what you're supposed to fill out here. And then uh, they're asking you for your Twitter account. If you have it, you specify it here. You, if you have a Facebook, you s leave the link to your Facebook here. And Albarido Electroni, which means like the email. Again, I fill it out with, uh, with, with my email. So you just click save it or save it uh, in PDF so that's what you do and then you have it in the PDF format you know this document is supposed to be not supposed to be it must be in the PDF otherwise the portal won't accept it and then you just attach it here istimara and that's it so we finished uh, filling out this section then you go at which means next in the next section you just choose at like you agree that you provided the correct information and then you click a tally and then there is a capture and that's it that's the whole process and then you click hivth which means uh, submitted okay here we go uh, it says like your application uh, was sent with success or successfully and then after that, there is a letter that is supposed to be, yeah, here, here it is. I got the letter from, from the portal that I've submitted my documents. Everything is success. And the number of my application is this number. So if, you wanna, if I want to uh, change something, I just copy it, go to this page and then paste it here like istiamal bi rakm talab put it here and they say istialam and if you want to change something i can i can do here by clicking ta'dil uh, send anyway and i can change the information that i provided but I, anyways alhamdulillah we just send the application it's there and that's how it's done.
So I guess that's it for this video. I hope that you've benefited from this video. Inshallah, see you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.